Hey guys, and what's going on? Teraku here. I hope you're all doing great. So in today's video, you guys already know what it is. I mean, you've seen the thumbnail. Hopefully it's something like, wow, I got my favorite legendary I was looking forward to. But you know, actually, I got a feeling that's what it's going to be. So what I'm looking forward to and what I'm hoping for is an Ethos, an Anithui, a Warlord, another Sifi, you know, all the top tier legendary void champions that I probably won't get, but I may, who knows? I got 53 voids, so hopefully the luck and the odds will be in my favor. I'm going to move my webcam over a little bit just so you guys can see the void shard number. And we're going to check our mercy system. Let's see where I'm at. All right, guys, we're at 74 shards. 74 plus 53 would put me at um, 127 out of, what, 220 needed to proc my mercy system. So probably won't be tempted to purchase more void shards, luckily. Because if that number was closer to, I don't know, say 200 by the time I got finished summoning these 50, then I would maybe want to purchase some more shards, which is not good. I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and jump in here and do these 53 voids. And let's go ahead and go to channel. Let's go to 96. Type in some secret codes. Okay, there we go. That's actually a code. We're going to get a legendary basically because of that code I just entered for sure. Now, don't necessarily only want those top tier champions. So there's Genbo, Jinbo, I don't know his name, the Shadowkin. He looks pretty freaking awesome. He ignores unkillable and things on his abilities. I think he looks pretty cool. I definitely like to have him. Um, some other legendaries, or not necessarily legendaries, I would like to have Godseeker, Aniri. And there's actually quite a bit other void epics that I wouldn't mind to have. Cardinal, I wouldn't mind to have her. I don't know really where I would use Cardinal, to be honest, but maybe somewhere. And also, let me know what you guys did you post anything good during this event so far <laughs> this is looking pretty bad but hey we get pay our rare tax and they'll be perfectly fine we've only pulled a few shards anyway so not a big deal at all did you guys get whoa whoa yeah i guess and a duplicate you can't complain about this okay so two arbiters okay so this is kind of like a love hate relationship this could have been a visix <laughs> i definitely would have been upset if this was a visix it's not a visix we're only a few shards in Reset the Mercy system already. This is not bad at all. You can always use a duplicate Arbiter because having a speed booster in the arena, having two of them, is never a bad thing. So for 3v3, now I can maybe put Arbiter with my Lissandra. So this is actually perfectly fine. I'm not upset at this at all. It could have been way worse with a duplicate Visix. Now, duplicates typically feel kind of meh anyways, but she's a good duplicate champion. She does have a use, and I will build her up for sure. Now... Let's see another gold. Can we make it happen? Can I make two golds happen in one video? Okay, make sure my light is on in the background because I want to make sure you guys don't see no scuffed green screen coming from the back. Okay, um, we already got this dude. Don't really need him. Now, we've got a decent amount of tournament points so far. Obviously, my goal with this is also to get the tournament finished up, right? Uh, the tournament... I want to get the top five star chicken. If I won the tournament, sweet. If not, I'm not worried about it. Now, if somehow I do pull two Void Legendaries from, what, 53 shards, that'll be insanity. I don't think I've... I've never pulled that many. Well, I take that... Whoa! Oh, no! What? I just said... <laughs> okay, well, this is exactly what I was saying. I... <laughs> This is not good. So the duplicate arbiter wasn't too bad. This is not so good. But hey, we already reset my pity system. Let's let's try to be optimistic with this, okay? So if I would have been at say 200 shards into pity, 210, even 219, and this is what popped out of the portal, my account would probably be, you know, facing the guillotine, about to be cut off. But this is fine. We already reset the pity, a few ones in. Just strictly points. Duplicate Visix. Duplicate Visix. Let's see what our chat's saying. Nobody's saying anything, but that code's working, guys. 214455 forward slash 87. Clearly, it's giving me the luck. Now we pulled two legendaries and 53 shards. Can we get a Godseeker, a Neri, a Cardinal, anything like that? I'd be super happy. And with these pulls so far, I don't know. Maybe we'll be seeing a third legendary, guys. What do you think? Do you think there'll be a third legendary pop out? By far the best luck I've ever seen. Now, this is basically a legendary for some people. Uh, unfortunately, she's not as good as she once was. 
but she's still pretty daggone good. I think that's actually a country song, but not exactly the words. Now, Cold Heart, I don't need any more of her. On my other account, she would have been amazing, but I don't use that account anymore, so I don't even need her. All right, more epics. Broadmaw, don't need him anymore. Now, this dude is amazing. If you're going through Faction Wars, you're struggling with Lizardmen, Broadmaw is an incredible champion to have. I got a feeling we're going to get the luck. I got a feeling we're going to get another gold. Now, that's just being strictly greedy. Strictly greedy, for sure. But maybe we get something good. Maybe. Is, is, is Vistix really a legendary? I mean, she's better than she was, right? Where are you guys using her at? I know most of you probably have her. I think that's the first duplicate I pulled of her. I think every account in Raid has to have a duplicate Vistix. Now, this chick, Whisper, she's pretty good now. I already have a copy of her, but I could use a duplicate as a book. But I think I'm going to build her up, maybe, and try her. I'd be interested in seeing how much damage she could do on a, uh, a team like Bat Eater or something. I'd be interested in seeing that. Because with the Bat Eater, Clan Boss team, two Man Eaters, you don't have to time out your... Uh, champions, they can get extra turns. It won't mess up the turn orders necessarily. So I think Whisper can go in that and be perfectly fine. I, oh, okay. I don't have her. So she's a unique champion. Definitely happy to have this. I can try to build a team around her. Now, she's not as good as kind as she was before, I don't think. But hey, maybe I can get some use out of her. We'll see. I'm really wanting a Godseeker Aniri, though. She would be better than Vistix for me. Like, definitely. I don't know if that's saying much. Probably not, but she would be definitely better than Vistix. I'm interested in seeing where my points are at. But to not in the uh, in the effort of not dragging this video on longer, I'm not going to look at the points until we finish pulling these shards. Also, if you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you're not already. We're getting super close to the 8,000 subscriber mark, which will be the point where I can apply for Tier 3 Content Creator Program, get access to the test server, do more gym giveaways. It'll be pretty fun. So... Um, all these rares, I don't know, maybe, maybe some of the recent ones I've pulled are decent. I don't know a lot about them. The, uh, Drowned Bloat Wraith, fairly newer champion, I guess, relatively, but I don't think he gets a ton of love. So Umbral, great champion, amazing champion. I've already got her in a few duplicates. Oh no. Well, I gotta go fill my champion space. Vistix may be facing the, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to get rid of her. She'll be safe. I'm gonna go feed some champs. I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back in here now. After clearing out some space in the vault, we have 15 shards and a dream. I've seen people do it from one shard. <laughs> I mean, I've already pulled two legendaries. All right. If I get another one, that's just going to be icing on the cake. Don't need another one. I do need Godseeker, though. I do need her. Like, I really need her. So I don't know where I'd even use her. Maybe in the arena. Maybe we throw her in there and try it out. I just think she's a really good champion. And pretty annoying to go against in a lot of areas. I'll be using the duplicate Arbiter. The duplicate Vistix may be taking a bench. Along with the other Vistix in the vault. If I got time, I'll build one of them though. Because they do have uses now. They're not as bad as they was. They were. Painkeeper, really good champion. Well, obviously bad eater team. But she's actually a really good champion throughout a lot of the game content. Even without being in clan boss. She's very good in the faction war area. She's very good in dungeons. I think she's overlooked because everybody focuses on her so much with specific clan boss teams. And she doesn't get as much love as she should in other areas. So we're going to pop these six more voids. All right. We'll get into the last five. The last five shards. And oh, 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 Amorite Skeleton. No, a Godseeker. Oh, whoa. Dang, she was, she was running at me fast, dude. I thought she was about to come through my screen. These Shadowkin, they make me a little bit worried. I think she's a unique champion for me, though. Let's go in here and check. Granted, checking these red dots don't mean much to me because I have champions in here. I don't clear my red dots. I don't, I don't clear them. So checking this is not going to say much, but she does have a red dot on her, along with basically everybody else. But hey, a unique champion. I'm pretty sure she is unique, though. Pretty awesome. So I'm definitely happy with that. I would really like the Ginbo dude. I actually forgot about him for now because I pulled two Legos so I was pretty surprised about that but on those Shadowkin people they zoom out of that portal alright let's see it let's see it so I'm glad we pulled the two early on because now my pity system will be fresh for the next 2x hopefully one more shard let's go enter a code real quick a secret code um alright there we go and one more shard 
Cross our fingers. Maybe not a rare. Okay, we got another rare. Yeah. Hey, cold heart. Not bad. Let's see how many points I got. And we'll wrap this thing up. Obviously, those secret codes, I mean, I'd say they don't work, but I don't know. I got two legendaries from it, so I can't say if they do or don't. Not going to lie. There we go. 5762. <laughs> My name is very unique looking. On all different devices, it appears significantly different. Here, it appears like that. Here, it appears like this. On my iPhone, it appears way different. On emulators, it appears way different. I love it. It's so unique. You never know where I'm at. But all right, let's see if my else is pulling anything good. Elder Scar. Oh, okay. I got Vistix. I was the one who got the Vistix. Sweet. All right, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope your Void Shard 2X pulls went very well for you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.